What's good, you guys? Welcome back to the CFL Podcast, where today I'm going to be telling you about the latest quarterback addition to the Jackson State roster. Now, I went back and forth on this a couple of days when I found out about him because I, you know, I wanted to know, you know, how you guys would perceive the news. Like, are you, would you, would you, would you care, basically? Um, but you know, I'm, I just want to keep y'all updated. If you don't care, you know, keep it scrolling. If you do. Let me know what you think about him down below in the comment section. Now, the latest quarterback that is on Jackson State's roster, who, in my opinion, can be that backup, that quality number two for Shador, God forbid, it, <clears throat> if he ever gets injured or something. So, knock on wood. His name goes by Bronson McClellan, and he comes from Katy, Texas. Now, Katy, Texas, if you know anything about Texas high school football, Katy is where it is. It's one of those spots in Texas where football is religion. Football is damn near God, right? Like, they take it very seriously down there. And Bronson was one of the stars of that program. At six foot, 210 pounds, he's not the tallest, right? But he definitely gets that ball where it needs to be. As a matter of fact, he's pretty much a dual threat kind of guy. He was actually voted as one of the best or the most... Um, the most notable dual threat quarterbacks at the JUCO level because, you know, he did end up going to JUCO after high school. So, yeah, he played at Katy, Texas. He was damn good. I mean, sensational. Ends up going to Trinity Trinity Valley Community College or something along the lines of that um, in Texas. And, you know, same success, right? He was getting the ball where it needs to be. He led his team to a 5-0 and record. Um, and I think what happened after that, it's a, it gets a little bit sketchy because I'm I'm trying to figure out if he was hurt. I think that's the reason why, but do not quote me on that. But something happened, and after he led his team to that 5-0 and record, they kind of stumbled a little bit. Um, but they were still scoring a lot of points. But, man, he at the center of, the, of attention for that offense, for his Juco, man, he was lights out. I mean, just delivering the ball wherever it needs to be. He seems confident when he throws. He's very fluid with his motion. Um, a guy who can, you know, I'm not. I don't think he's faster than Shador, but the speed level should be about the should be about the same. He shouldn't be that far off. But he is, like I said, he is recognized as a dual threat quarterback at the JUCO level. So you're looking at a guy who, God forbid, again, knock on wood, if something was to ever happen to Shador to where he needed to come out the game. Um, Bronson McClellan is a guy who I'm pretty sure could get the job done for you. Uh, and, you know, you, you take pride in saying that. You you do go back to the video from Deion Sanders Jr. where Coach Prime said it himself. You know, we have guys on this field right now capable of being the backup quarterback, like quality number two. They just have to show it. But I know we have them on this field. Bronson McClellan is on that field. Bronson McClellan, in my opinion, can be that guy. But, you know, it, it, it don't have to be him. It can be Norman Douglas. You know, like, it, they have options. They have options. Um, some people might say J.P. Andre, Andre on however you pronounce his last name. So, J.P. from Ohio State. They Some people say he can be the one. But me personally, Bronson, or Norman, but, you know, Bronson is... He, he, he looks like he can be that guy to me. But you guys let me know what you think about that in the comments based on what you see uh, from his highlight tape. With that being said, you guys, I just got through with one of the funnest lives I have ever done with Blue Bloods. All right, me, Blue Bloods, and Terrence Tucker. We just previewed South Carolina State for the upcoming season, so definitely go check that out. Or if you're not, you're still not really a fan of South Carolina State, yada, yada, yada. Okay, we also did a live for Jackson State previewing them as well, right? Y'all should go check that out if you haven't already. Both of those videos are on the Blue Bloods channel. Go check that out. With that being said, I'm your host, Kobe Orr. I'm out.